G'day guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to replace the bottom gas strut on your 2002 to 2006 Honda CRV. Now this bottom strut controls your rear door, so the rear door swings back and forward. Now, with our door, every time we open it, we're on a bit of a lean um, to the passenger side, driver side in America, um, it swings back and hits us in the butt. Now it's not ideal, um, we're trying to get in the back to get all our gear out, um, to detail cars. Um, so what we're going to do is replace the gas strut here. What we did, we jumped on eBay and we found this. This was $24 from Amazing eBay and it was shipped out within a couple of days. Amazing. Comes a little bracket on one side um, and a little kind of open tube on one end. So pretty much sits in like that. Perfect replacement from the factory one. Now this is 550mm long um, and it's a direct replacement. Now all it is is two 10mm nuts on the back of this underside here where that bracket there sits and one 8mm bolt on the top bracket on the boot side. Very easy to replace. Now I would recommend if you can um, do this on a much flatter surface. I'm on a bit of a lean at the moment um, so what that will do is cause when I undo these two bolts underneath to attach it to the bottom of the door there it's going to swing out um, so what I will have to do is hold the door make it doesn't swing open replace that one um, and just be very careful if it swings out too far it will hit the pole I've got on the side of the house there it may cause some damage to the back of the um, CRV now at the same time what I'll do is I'll check these two bolts here make sure that it's not rusty where those two bolts be going in and if it is I'll just spray some WD-40 on there make sure it's all nice and lubed up and at the same time you can see it's quite dirty underneath here, so we'll give that nice and clean just to make sure everything's nice and clean, make sure the bolts and stuff like that aren't rusted. So let's get along, um, very easy. Our 10mm and our 8mm. Um, the kit that I bought actually didn't come with any bolts, so we'll be replacing with the factory bolts that came um, on the car as well, which isn't too bad. Um, some new bolts would be nice, but that's what it is. So let's get on um, and replace it. So 10 to Two 10 mils under here. Two 10 mils and now our eight. kind of just springs up like that and that's our eight so while we're there we'll get a nice clean cloth get those both surfaces nice little clean like I said it's a good idea to check those surfaces underneath here with rust anything that's bolted um, it may end up rusting, corroding over time, so we want to make sure those are nice and protected. So we have our new gust strut. We're going to put these bolts on first. Then we'll go in under here. One. Those two secured, so you can now grab your door and pull it until it connects to that one. Then grab your eight mil and thread it on. There's like a little sleeve there and just pops over that sleeve. And we're done. Easy as that. So that gust is um, fully replaced. Now with the old one, you can see how easy that compresses itself. Now anytime there's any weight on that, it just takes a little bit to pull it back out. So it shouldn't do that. You'd not notice that we can push it all the way in and it pops back out. That gate's right shredded. 
where that one forces itself back out real easily and that one's still kind of um, not even all the way up so it takes a lot to pull that out so that one's going in the bin so what I used to do is get the vice grips hand the vice grips on there so it doesn't compress itself back um, and it looks really cheap and nasty when you're trying to go at the customers cars detail of the cars much better so that was $25 for the brand new gas strut uh, from eBay I'll try and link a link, um, a little link down below for eBay. Really cheap. There's lots of them available. I think it was like two days shipping. Two days shipping. And we're good to go again. So that's pretty much my match for today, guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video.